<coughs> perfect day out. It's not super cold. It's there's flurries coming down. The snow's on the ground, and we're making something. Cooking with coal cracker. Ah, pumped. <coughs> So what's up guys, Dan here at Cold Cracker Bushcraft, an episode of Cooking with Cold Cracker where we come out to camp and we make stuff over the campfire. Now on today's menu, something for absolutely everybody. I mean, kids to your grandmother. That's candy, we're gonna make some candy. Super simple, super easy, but it does require one thing that maybe in your area you don't have, unfortunately, and that's snow. You need snow to make this candy. So uh, let's get started. Step one, start a campfire. Then while that campfire is going, you're gonna to wanna to grab some type of pot to cook in. And then you can also grab, if you have like some type of pie plate or a dish, um, this is totally optional. You don't need that, but if you have it, or depending on your situation, you might want it. Another optional item is a candy thermometer. Now, a meat thermometer will not work for this, so don't even waste your time. You need a candy one. But if you don't have this, you can still get away with it, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. And then the big ingredient, drum roll please, boom, 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 boom. That's a terrible drum roll, but my point is we need maple syrup. So we are making maple chews. It's, it's gonna, uh, like bushcraft candy, maple syrup. You need 100% maple syrup. So do not get the junky stuff. You have to spend the money and get the good stuff, 100%. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our maple syrup, we're gonna taste test it. Delicious. I mean, who doesn't love maple syrup? And it's so bushcrafty. It comes from the trees around us out here. Ah, great sweetener. Okay, so take this anyway, and you're going to pour this into your pot. I'm just going to put it all in there. Okay, I'll drink the rest. All right, high on maple syrup today. Okay, so um, now that this is in here, we're gonna place it over the campfire. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different videos on thousands of different topics made by hundreds of different creators. So there is something for everybody on this platform. Now Skillshare makes it really easy when you get on the home screen to scroll through all the different videos and all the different categories to see exactly what you like, what you're interested in. You can start watching a video, You can pick up that video later. You can jump ahead to different videos, so, so it's super cool. Now Skillshare has everything from high-end technology and how to use it, to the arts, to even hard skills. Even something down to how to use a knife, which I had to watch just recently. Now I know, I know you're thinking, well Dan, because I'm like a master at using knives, right? But there's actually videos on that, because one thing that I can't do is when I get into the kitchen or I'm at camp and I'm cooking, I can't do that chef thing. <laughs> and there's a video on it, so I watch Watch Delana Carp's video, Knife Skills, How to Chop Like a Chef. Um, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm not great yet, but now I got the skill set in my mind. I just got to work on it a little bit more. So probably next time you see me at camp, I'll be slapping that knife down real hard and, and just making it work. So there's all kind of cool stuff like that on there. So for this video, what Skillshare has done is they've given me a link. It's down in the description below. If you click that, the first thousand subscribers to click it will get one month free of Skillshare. And if it's free, it's for me kind of thing. Thing. So why not just click it and get to explore and um, boom, it's gonna be awesome for you. But now I gotta get back to the maple syrup because it is almost ready. So while the maple syrup's heating up, these are a few things that you need to keep in mind. What we want to do is we wanna bring that maple syrup up to a temperature of around 230 degrees. Now, that's where the thermometer comes into play. If you have it, your candy's gonna come out better. If you don't have it, you can sort of eyeball it. It's gonna be boiling and you're gonna see what that's gonna look like in a little bit. But if it gets hotter, like in the 240 range, you're cooking out too much of the water that's left in the maple syrup. And then what happens is it becomes the candy becomes super hard and brittle. When we make this candy and we're right at that 230 degree range and we cool it, it's gonna be still stiff, but it's gonna be on the um, chewier side. So think of like um, a Werther's Original. That's probably the best way to put it. Now, the reason you need the snow, okay, is because when it gets to temperature, we're actually gonna take it off the fire and pour 
in small batches the maple syrup into the snow. It's gonna rapidly cool it, and that's what's gonna create the candy, the hard candy that we can just carry around with us and eat when we want. So um, that's where this comes into play. If you're at your house and you're doing this with your kids inside and it's snowing outside, you can literally take a pan, pack it full of snow, and just put it on your counter and drizzle it that way. Or if you're outside and you don't have a lot of snow and you're afraid it's gonna melt too deep and end up getting down into the dirt, then you can pack this with snow, put it on top of the snow, and then when your candy's done, if it melts too far in, it'll just hit the tray anyway and be good. So that's like a little hack for you there um, so you can still get the job done and be happy with it. All right, so you can see what the maple syrup is looking like at this point. We are approaching 220 degrees, so we have a little bit more to go, and then we're gonna pull this off the fire and get it in the snow. Okay, so this is our hot maple syrup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some in this pan, okay, just for you at home that have to do this in your kitchen. And you can see how that's clumping together, and then I'm gonna pour some directly on the snow. Just like that will make one running downhill. <laughs> that's okay, that is all right. So put some over here too. And just let that soak in and cool down. Then we're gonna pull it out and see what we got. All right, so I'm gonna pull some of this out, gave it a little bit of time here, and you're gonna notice it comes out, look at this, one big chunk with some snow on it. <laughs> so that's what we're looking for, okay? Still flexible. Um, at this point, if you don't like it being this flexible, you can always throw it back in and cook it a little bit more, okay? Um, but I think it's pretty good when it's like this. Check that out, so awesome. So there you go everybody, here is our maple syrup snow candy. It came out wonderful, tastes delicious. Ah, absolutely wonderful. So, um, I'm gonna get the rest out of the snow there. Um, just a couple quick things with this. 100% maple syrup, you need that. You can't use anything else. When you're cooking your syrup, again, if you have a candy thermometer, all the better. But an easy way, I thought, while I was doing this, if you don't have that, is to just test it. Once it comes to a boil, and you're going, you're going to see when it comes to a boil, and it's hard to catch this on camera, but um, it's gonna go from very watery to almost syrupy-like. So once it gets to that state, I would test it in the snow a little bit. Again, this is without thermometer, test it. If it is just coloring the snow and it's not coagulating up and, and making that sticky little um, chunk that we're looking for, put it back on the fire and cook it some more and just test a little bit at a time and then you'll get it absolutely perfect um, to how you want it. And then again, you can make that harder, you can make it softer, whatever uh, is gonna please you best and make everybody happy. But it's a fun project for older people, kids, everybody. Um, and we all love candy, so uh, uh, give this one a shot. So thanks for joining me today on Cooking with Cold Cracker. Thanks to, for Skillshare for sponsoring the video. Click the link below um, to get that free um, one month membership. And until the next video, eat your maple syrup snow candy and stay in the woods.